this opening of this lab allows us to do things in a different manner, a safer and a healthier manner. The less insecticides we use, the healthier our vegetables are, the safer for human consumption. Hence, I give this activity, this program, great importance. The launch of a biological pest control program means the further development of the agricultural industry in Belize through partnership with Mexico and OISA, the International Regional Organization for Agricultural Health, two other biological controls will be introduced to target insects and pests that have cost the industry millions of dollars in losses. What we're inaugurating is an extension of the past um, initiative for pink hibiscus mealybug. The mealybug lab has been in operation uh, for almost for 20 years now, but pro producing a very specific uh, natural enemy of the pink hibiscus mealybug. So recently it was decided to try to expand into other lines of production for other organisms that also have a, an effect on a broader range of pests. Hence the reason we have now added on two subunits to produce a parasitoid and a, a predator, which are, tend to be very generalistic. The Belize Agricultural Health Authority is responsible for finding options outside of pesticides for biosafety in the agricultural industry with the establishment of the Regional Laboratory for the Reproduction of Biological Control Agents, there are several successful tests that have been carried out. But will this help with the recently discovered Asian bean thrip? The organisms that we're using have been proven to be very effective in the field. However, yes, it is very important to do some level of local trials. So yes, some trials have been done in the field in beans against the, the current new pests. And we have seen some very good um, um, biological activity there. Uh, one of the other organisms is, is being tried in, um, in cabbages in a farmer community in the hummingbird uh, against a pest that affects cabbages, which is uh, a larvae, a uh, diamondback moth. And, and these very controlled trials have shown that, yes, indeed, the, the, the two organisms are, 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 you know, live up to their name in terms of controlling these pests. It's a matter now of scaling up production and, and making it available and starting to create the culture in farmers to start using these organisms. The strategy is expected to improve food security in Belize. Dwayne Moody for News 5.